Greetings from Cascais, Portugal. Venue for the 2007 ISAF Sailing World Championships. Today is the penultimate day of the championships and it's the medal race for the RSX windsurfers. It is the women and then the men. The RSX is the new equipment for the windsurfing event at the 2008 Olympic Games. The previous equipment was the Mistral. So looking at the overall start list, the top 10 into the medal race for the RSX women. Sofia Klepaka from Poland leads Barbara Kendall. Yes, it's youth versus experience. The only two sailors with a chance of winning gold here in this medal race are the youngest and the oldest. The youngest is Sofia and the eldest is Barbara Kendall. Marina Alibu from Spain is third overall on the standings with four, at 42. Jessica Crisp from Australia, who's been a long time performer on the world circuit of windsurfing, is currently fourth. Alessandra Sincini, who's been an outstanding performer and has uh, won three Olympic medals in this class, is currently fifth overall. So let's go down to the water and Richard Parslow, greetings. What are the conditions like? Uh, hi PJ, fantastic weather out here today. Probably eight to 10 knots with occasional gusts of about 12. Uh, bright sunshine, blue skies, wonderful weather for racing. And based on what you can see, will we have it all crowded up at the committee boat end of the line again? Well, it depends. I mean, uh, uh, the boards seem to They'll be going for pressure more than wind direction. The pressure much more important. That you get a, about two knots more wind and you go about three or four knots faster. So uh, they'll be looking for the pressure rather than wind shifts as such, PJ. All right. Well, it's uh, going to be interesting to see how they line up because uh, Sophia Klepaka, who's the current ISAF world ranking of number three, but she won the... Volvo Youth Sailing ISAF World Championships four times in succession from 2001 to 2004 and uh, she finished in the top five of all but one of the major ISAF graded events sailed this year. Barbara Kendall yeah, she's she is just outstanding. Three Olympic medals to her credit, four Olympic Games and three World Championships also in windsurfing. So it's going to be a fascinating clash isn't it? Yeah, Sophia's got a pretty handy points lead. Uh, she'd have to make a real uh, error in this race to lose the gold medal. Uh, and Barbara Kendall's actually fairly safe in the silver position. There's going to be a bit of a fight for the uh, bronze medal, though, between Marina Alabao, the Spanish girl, and Jessica Chris from Australia. Oh. Lining up for the start now. Coming up to one minute to the start. They seem to be spread fairly evenly along the line, PJ, so they're not crowding the uh, boat end as we've seen in some of the other fleets. Most important thing for these boards is to get some clear air out of the start rather than actual position on the line. All right, let's just have a look at quickly at one minute to go exactly where the course is related to cash case. And we go out yep, with virtual eye and we're going right out onto the course now. Out from Cascay and just out of the uh, breakwater area, we can see that the top 10 in the women's RSX medal race. All right, Richard, it looks pretty crowded up by the committee boat at this stage. Yeah, they're all battling for position, battling for clear air. Got about 28, 27 seconds now coming up for the start. So it's Marina Alabao, ESP5, Yan Yin from China, got the silver at Athens 2004. Right, we're inside 10 seconds now, getting ready for the start, down to five. The start, RSX Women's Medal Race. And they're underway, brilliant start by the Spaniard Marina Alabao, she's really got into it. Barbara Kendall really doing well out at the pin end. Alessandra Sincini down to leeward of her. We're looking for P2 
TOL8. Where is Sophia? Well, Dan Slater, they're right into it here. Really putting into it the kinetic energy. There's a lot of grunt required. Right for his perspective, right down at water level, here's Richard Parslow. Yeah, Barbara Kendall led out of the port end of the line. She's coming furthest left on the on the course now, just over the top of uh, Alessandra Sensini. Nobody's tacked yet, as far as I can make out. They're all coming out towards this left-hand side of the course. Richard, can you pick out where Sophia is? Klepaka, the overall leader. Yeah, she seems to be a little bit buried at the moment. She seems to be a little bit buried. She's... Uh, back in the pack so it's Barbara Ken Lenz at L15 out to the left ITA 25 is Alessandra Sincini two of the great performers on the world circuit of windsurfing for over the last decade yeah Zafir's come right out to the left hand side here right out to the left she's most extreme left just tacking now. She's going back on port, going back across to the right-hand side of the course here, PJ. All right. Looks we, like she's... We can see that now as we get a nice wide shot and get a handle on all of the competitors. And here is Sophia now. Boy, she's really getting into it. Got plenty of lead reach, just 21. There's a lot of physical exertion going into that, Dan Slater. Whoa. They just bounce and skim across the uh, the wave top. Yeah. Definitely looks like there's more wind on the right, right? This second PJ. Yeah. Definitely okay. more wind on the right. Oh, there's a fantastic race going on. It looks like Barbara Candle ends at L15 and Marina Alabar from Spain ESP5. They have hit the plane as Dan Slater's telling us about it. And uh, I looked like Alessandra Sincini was being stuck there and not quite on the plane as Dan emphasized. They're gone three knots quicker. Yes, that's a key point because remember this medal race here out of Cascais in Portugal for the RSX women medal race is double points in contrast to all the other races to qualify to get the top 10 are all in uh, single points. Let's get back down to the water of his perspective. Here's Richard. Yeah, the fleet's really spread out now, PJ. The differences in speed are just so phenomenal. With the wind being this patchy, there's a difference of at least five knots between the gusts and the lulls. And the girls who sailed most in the gusts have pulled out a huge lead on the rest of the fleet. The wind's fairly stable in direction, but it's very patchy. And if they can stay in the pressure, then they're going to be flying while the others are wallowing slightly. Can you try and bring the back around? Oh. Right, so there. Oh, yeah, back out there. there's Sophia. Oh dear, oh dear. Sophia Klepak has got into trouble. She's come off a board. Now, yes, she fell she's up fell. going now, but that could cost her time. It cost her at least 10 seconds. As she yes. seemed to get stalled, almost get into irons, going through the tack, and then falling off the boards. Not the ideal technique. Meanwhile, in the background, we can see ESP5. That's Marina Alabar. She's gone. Barbara Kendall also going off in a different direction. Righto, Richard, let's get back to you now. 
Yeah, that, that, uh, that was a terrible mistake by Zafira. I don't know if the pressure got to her or, or what happened, but she definitely stalled in the middle of the attack, uh, dropped the rig, and then fell off the board. Took her ages to get it going again, water starting. Rudder on the left-hand side of the course is Alessandra Sensini, one of the most experienced sailors in the fleet. And she's working the board up, trying to get it back up onto the plane to get back across the fleet. Alessandra Sensini, as Richard said, experience well she's won three olympic medals on the trot including she is the current olympic medalist in the windsurfing event although that was in the mistral class because these rsx are new for in this olympic cycle right now here comes the overall leader coming into this medal race this is sophia klepaka but well she has given moment, some of well down yes she's given the others a head start and as Dan Slater made the point, Barbara Kendall's got to go for a life. Here she is. Barbara looks to be right up in the van of the fleet, maybe with Marina Alabao. We'll see that. The key point for Barbara is to try and get out, win it if she can, and have five places. And Sophia's not helping her cause by coming off the board. Yes, absolutely. Competitors between them as Barbara Kendall's looking good at the moment, but it's not just about looking good. Uh, you need other competitors and rivals between them. Coming back to Barbara Kendall, look at the difference between her and Sevilla. Because, boy, Barbara Kendall's setting the hot pace, and she has got a few competitors right behind her. We noticed that there was Romney Kinsey from Germany, most definitely Marina Alabar from Spain, are not too far behind this brilliant, brilliant sailor from New Zealand, Four Olympics so far, going for a fifth, three Olympic medals, three world championships. The roll call of honour just goes on and on for this stunning competitor. In the background, ITA 25, that is Alessandra Sincini. Again, three Olympic medals to her. There's such incredible experience in this fleet. Jessica, Jessica Crisp has done so well also. There's Romney Kinsey right behind Barbara Kendall. So that's Germany 61. Another very good sailor to keep out here is Yan Yin from China, who's been a top performer in the later conditions. So okay, Barbara Kendall setting the pace. Righto, Richard, what do you reckon the breeze is down the way you are? Oh, it's really patchy. In the gusts, it's over 10 knots, and in the lulls, it's less than 7. Here comes Barbara Kendall approaching the windward mark. If she wins this race and Sophia is seventh or worse, then Barbara Kendall takes the gold medal. She's overcome a massive points de uh, deficit coming into this race. Rounding the windward mark, getting around, kicking the board up. Very slow jive, trying to get back into the wind. Very light at this windward mark. So Barbara Kendall's gone off. Now we've got the others coming up and second round. It is going to be France. It is Charlene Picon. So it's she's German, right there, Roman and then Kinsey. comes Germany. So uh, that, that is Romney Kinsey next, and then comes the Spaniard. We've been talking about Marina Alabar, and there goes Jessica Chris from Australia. Right, so we've got Spain, Australia. I reckon China's going to be coming around any moment. Really, what I'm leading up to, uh, Richard, is I can't see Sophia yet. So uh, the number between Barbara and Sophia, boy, oh boy, it could be happening. Here comes China. We're right. It is Italy. It is China. Yeah, Sophia's definitely last at the moment, PJ. La definitely in really? last position. 
Wow. Now there's Alessandra Cincini, one of the great, great windsurfers in women's windsurfing in the world. Who's that going on the outside? I can't quite see that. The Ukrainian. They're from Ukraine, is it? Okay, we'll come back to you in a minute, Richard. Sophia only just going around the mark now, PJ. And, uh, Barbara Kendall's about halfway down the run. Well, at this stage, it is Barbara Kendall's World Championship. If she's last, she's struggling, isn't she? She looks rattled, trying to get her act together. The others have taken off, and Sophia looks like she's got an anchor out, just struggling to get into it. Right, we come back to the head of the fleet. This is Barbara Kendall. Hold these positions, and Barbara Kendall will win yet another World Championship. Right, that's Flavia Tanagini, number one on the sail. There's two brilliant Italians here, not only Sandra Sincini, but Flavia as well. Now look, the current situation of the race stop right now, Barbara Kendall would be first, Marina Alibar would be second, and Jessica Crisp Australia would be third overall. But as we've seen in the pulsating action over the last few days, it changes. Right, to tell us about that hole on the course and what's happening, Richard. Yeah, definitely very light in the middle. I, I don't think Sophia can actually lose the bronze medal, even if she's in last place. But she can definitely lose that gold medal. Light in the middle, windy around the edges. Most of the fleet has come out to the right-hand side of the run, and now they're going back towards the gate of Port Jive. Flying downwind now. If they get the gust, they're going about five, maybe six knots faster than the girls who aren't in the gusts. And it looked like Sophia came around that windward mark and then wanted to go a different way. Obviously, she's got a lot of distance to catch up. She's not going to be able to sail around the other boards if she goes the same way. So she went a different way. Let's see if she's managed to get out of last place by the time she gets down here to the gate. Flavia Tatellini has taken the lead. Flavia Tatellini has taken the lead at this lured mark. Right, Richard, call it around the gate for us, please. It's Italy one. Flavia Tatellini is leading. She's going back out to the left hand side as we look up win. In second place is the Australian Jessica Christ. Taking the same gate marker, and she's going to be going out to the left hand side of the beat as well. The whole race is turned inside out. I can't see Barbara Kendall at all. So now we've got then, Poland. Then Sophia's Poland. coming around. Poland. Yep. Sophia's got right up there. Is she third, fourth or fifth? That's it. She's uh, around fourth place. She uh, came around that windward mark and jived straight away. Although she was very soft when she came around the mark, she must have had better pressure out down the left-hand side of the run, and most of the fleet went right. And here comes Barbara Kendall now, just going through the gate. She's seventh or eighth. Dear, oh dear, from first to seventh or eighth. Meanwhile, Sophia was dead last, stone motherless last, and she's gone round fourth. What do we make of it, Dan? Incredible. pressure Dan Slater you're actually meaning pressure the strength of the wind rather than pressure of emotion <laughs> so Germany that's Romney Kinsey Germany is 61 Spain just out to the left Marina Alabao this is the leading group here 
So you have Marina Alabar from Spain, Charlene Picon from France, and Poland, my can you believe it? Sofia Klepaka, who was dead last at the top mark, is now on the leading pack with Romney Kinsey from Germany and Marina Alabar of Spain. What a brilliant, brilliant recovery. Magnificent. So there they are. It's Poland, Spain, and France. up a little bit TJ, they moved that top mark in a little bit. It's okay. unbelievably wide tacking angles that we just just seen the, 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 the tack most normal sailboats uh, tack through about 90 degrees. These boards are tacking through about 120 sometimes. It's really technical, it's a really technical little class and the decisions whether to go centre board down or centre board up, feeling the wind in the, in, the, in the rig, very difficult, very tricky for these girls, especially when the wind's so patchy. And also not only technical but the mind games, the maritime game of chess going on where they position themselves, the tactics, and we can see how physical it is, even with the breeze up, that's tough physical hard work. And when they've got to use the kinetic energy to get going, that is just back-breaking stuff. All right, well, they are getting close to the top mark here. And this has been a stunning recovery by Sofia Klepaka, who led as number one going into this medal race for the RSX women. And, and here's Barbara Kendall. Yep. They've had the message hammered home to get out to the right to get to the slightly better pressure. And that seems to have gained again on this on this beat, PJ. Slight advantage to the right hand side of the beat. A little bit more wind, better pressure, maybe a slightly better direction as well. Right around the top is Flavia leading, we, and we can see, my goodness, we can see New Zealand in there, Jessica Crisp, and it does seem as though Barbara Kendall has really made an incredible cup. Well, can you believe it? Poland out to the left, Sofia Klepaka and Barbara Kendall out to the right. These are the two, number one and two, Poland and New Zealand going into this uh, medal race, although Sofia from Poland does have the cushion of the points advantage because she comes in on 19 points Barbara Kendall is on 30 so Barbara has to win by half a dozen places but that's been a splendid recovery by Barbara Kendall as they're struggling now just no puff as Richard and Dan are talking to us about so that's France around the Charlene Picon oh struggling to get around the top mark and Barbara Kendall, look at that physical grunt going in from Barbara, making it happen. How frustrating, really going up so quickly. And then all of a sudden this, where's the energy coming from to be able to get round the mark? And once she gets round the mark, change direction, here she goes. interesting to note, Richard, that two or three of the competitors went high above the mark and have just whistled past Barbara. How frustrating. Oh, yeah, it's extraordinary. Though. She's on the ley line, making it look, look uh, perfectly, <laughs> perfectly safe making it, and the wind just went really light on her, and as Dan pointed out, the tide's quite strong in here, 
and it just whipped her down a little bit. She pumped to try to make it round. Eventually realised she wasn't going to make it. She was going to have to tack and uh, uh, had to put a tack in. Low speed, no win. Horrible. And even though they're allowed to touch the marks in the boards, they're allowed to touch the marks, but it's still slow to uh, drag up, pull yourself around in the way she had to. Okay. here rsx for women brilliant recovery she's from yeah, she's fire well she's hit the plane now and she's off and sophia is flying on her way to a world championship she has won world championships in the past that's for the volvo youth sailing isaf world championship she won it four times in succession brilliant performance but here she's lined up to become the new world champion in the RSX boards. The current champion is Alessandra Cincini. Yeah, they come down, down this uh, end of this run and they'll do a little slalom course before they hit the finish. This has been a clash of the young, the ambitious and the experienced with brilliant sailors like Barbara Kendall, Alessandra Sincini and Jessica Chris with wonderful CVs and outstanding experience over a long period. But enter the wide-eyed, talented young sailors led by Sophia Klepaka. It's all very well winning at the world youth level. But to come into the big time and play with the big girls and beat them, that's something else. And that is what Sophia Klepaka is about to do. What a brilliant recovery, Dan Slater. Absolutely incredible. Chris, and she has been outstanding for Australia for a long period with a wonderful record as well and Jessica looks to be lined up but the focus the spotlight goes on this brilliant sailor from Poland Sofia Klepaka brilliant from DJ last Lister. place at the first mark from last place at the first mark she's now leading this could, for Jessica this could actually put her into the bronze medal um, we're not sure where the rest of the field are, but Jessica could slide into the bronze medal at this stage. And Barbara Kendall looks like she's going to hold on for silver, but at the head of the fleet, it is about the gold medal at the RSX Women Medal Race at the 2007 ISAF Sailing World Championships here on the second last day of competition out of Cascais in Portugal. This really has been a stunning recovery. Here was Sofia Klepaka from Poland, who went into this medal race as number one and with a comfortable points advantage over Barbara Kendall. And then with Marina Alabar of Spain third and Jessica Chris of Australia fourth. But who would have believed that the Sofia was last and a distant last after falling off a board on the first leg? But she recovered. And going away from the top mark for the first time, it looked like she had an anchor out. At the moment, anything but. This really is playing on confidence. Absolutely outstanding. From the Ukraine, Olga Mazalovic. 
Behind her, it's Marina Alabama from Spain. PJ Marina being behind that far back, that's going to definitely give um, Jessica the bronze medal. She had, it was her, whoever beat who today in this race for Jessica and Marina. And uh, Jessica's gone through and sec will go through in second place, and here's Marina sailing around the course. And she's probably in fourth or fifth place, I'm not sure yet. So the slalom continues. There's Jessica about to change direction as she is tracking Sophia Klapak, who's already changed direction intact. Set against the wonderful city and setting of Cascais in Portugal, overlooking the Bay of Cascais, a magnificent area for sailing. And now heading towards the finish. The there side. have been some wonderful stories here at this 2007 ASAP Sailing World Championships. In all of the medal races, there's been some pulsating action and this is a story. Someone with so much talent, so much potential, now turning it into reality to win her first World Championship in Open Senior Competition. The mark was finish on it, coming down to the line, the new world champion in the RSX women medal, it's Sofia Klepaka from Poland. Brilliant, brilliant. What a recovery. Last of the top mark, and to recover from that, to stay cool, when her world was collapsing about her, one falling off the board, two so far behind. Meanwhile, Barbara Ken Lins at L15, is still on track for silver. She's won three world championships in the past, three Olympic medals. It is remarkable what she's done. And the celebrations now for Sofia. What a performance. Third place for Flavia Tatalini. So Flavia Tatalini is coming down third behind Jessica. This is in the, uh, the women's medal race. Alessandra Sensini out of the medals. Alessandra Where Sinsini. is Barbara Kendall? Where is Barbara? Going across the line, that's France, Shalom Picon. Now comes Spain, Maria, uh, Marina Alabao. This is Barbara Kendall coming in next. This could be serious for Barbara Kendall. She may slip a place or two. Here comes Barbara Kendall now. She's ahead of the Chinese sailor, Yan Yin. So we'll have to get this all totaled up. Well, well, TJ, I think what you'll find here, Barbara, she's she's got to uh, hopefully not too far behind Jessica Crisp, who crossed the line in second, and Jessica could slide herself into a silver medal here from fourth going into the race. Yeah, I think I think Barbara's down in ninth place, actually, TJ. I think she's yeah. ninth. What with the Chinese, the only uh, China behind Barbara, is that it? Yeah, is I it, think so, yeah. There, uh, there may be one more, there may be one more. Well, it's going to be tight. But meanwhile, around the star Polish sailor, Sofia Klepaka and her backup team out on the water. They're not too fussed about who's going to be silver or bronze. This is a wonderful day for Polish sailing. To, to win a world championship in that fashion has uh, got to keep the heart going, that's for sure. And confirming the official results, it is Sofia Klepaka, a clear winner on 21 points. Barbara Kendall wins the silver and beats Jessica Crisp by just one point. And then it's a jump back to Marina Alabar from Spain who finishes fourth on 56. Alessandra Sensini, the former world champion in this RSX and the current Olympic champion finishes fifth overall. It has been a stunning performance and Sofia Klepaka came in as number one and ends the regatta after this pulsating RSX women's medal race. Still number one. What a stunning performance to be able to overcome all that happened in that incident pack race and Poland win the gold medal, New Zealand silver, Australia bronze.